Welcome to the Keep It or Rush It segment here on Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. You notice anything missing, John? Yeah, the engine's missing, Dave, and I don't know if you got enough horsepower to do the job. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be enough. <laughs> Good thing we have this uh, new engine from GPT over there. And we do. We have a Go Powertrain engine here, and you guys can see it's coming together really, really well. We'll talk about the accessories later, and we're going fuel injected with the Sniper, Dave. Gotta love it, man. I love it, and we got a new intake there that's going to give us more horsepower and better acceleration, which Boy, is great. You got that right. But before we jump on this, let's turn our attention to the windshield. You know, a lot of people don't get to see windshields installed, so we're going to go ahead and go through the process. We called our buddies over at Tommy's Auto Glass, local here, and they take care of our college for us. And Jonathan Fuquay hooked us up with the windshield, and Gary Stevens, man, an incredible installer with Benjamin, did the job and uh, just walked through the process. It wasn't too tough for him anyway. Uh, first thing you got to do is remove the windshield wiper arms. Those things have been on there for about 40 years, so it took a little doing. Got a little uh, a little pick in there to, to pry the little clips, and, and they came off. Yeah, and we removed the cowling, Dave. We didn't have to, but uh, they went ahead and removed the cowling so we could just clean it up. You know, it's an old truck, get it all cleaned up, and it gave us better access to the trim. It was just an easier way to do it. And that trim, there's a lock seal around there, so the, the, the molding around there is was holding the windshield in, and it's brittle, it's old. The seals are the first thing to go, so we knew we were going to throw that out. We didn't have to be too gingerly with it. Yeah, and then the gasket that actually is around the windshield, we went away and cut that all the way around. Uh, they gave it a good oomph around there. Even Benjamin got a little shot at it, and he got it cut out, and basically by then it was ready to take the windshield out. You got it, and uh, again, we're not really saving this glass, so we didn't have to be too, too careful, but it is glass, so you have to be careful enough, able to push that out with no problem. Yeah, and then we went and cleaned around there. I mean, once again, an old pickup truck. We had some debris, not a lot of rust, I was surprised, but went ahead and cleaned it, took a little cookie die grinder, went around and made sure it was all good before we put the new one in, even though we're not gluing it. And as with anything, with an automobile, take your time, especially with a classic, and that's exactly what we did. Time to prime the frame, just a, just a coat of primer around there to, to get it ready to accept the molding in the, in the windshield there. Yep, and then the new seal went in there, the gasket, the hook lip was on the back side, started in the center, they worked their way around, so when they got to the end, bam, they have a beautiful cut right in the middle. New windshield went in, a locking strip to hold it in, and there's your new windshield. Bam, just that easy, you know, and that's nice. It really improved the truck, but, you know, I'm more impressed with this engine here. We'll turn our attention to the engine. We went ahead and did the accessories, and I'll tell you, if you're going to do accessories, take pictures, take pictures, take pictures. Man, these old engines, Dave, have a ton of brackets, and they're all interlocking. Not a pretty sight. Next item for removal, the power steering pulley. There's a special pulling tool for that. You can get that at rockauto.com. And same thing for the harmonic balancer. Special puller, impact, bam, knocked it off, no worries. The water pump went on next, and you had to apply some Teflon to the threads to make sure that water didn't wick out through the threads. The water pump could leak. Yeah, and because we're using the Holly Sniper system, man, we went ahead and blocked off the actual fuel pump where it originally is. Four bolts, boom, that was easy. Fuel pump delete there. Intake manifold, that's from our friends at Wyand. It's a street warrior. Again, they say more horsepower, better acceleration. Why not? Let's throw yeah. that on there. Flipped it over, oil pan, glued the gaskets. They're corked, so we'll go back and retorque them. Just a normal build, man. AC compressor goes on, and we're good to go, John. Yeah, Dave, now it's time to prime the engine with the oil. We don't want to do a dry start. We want to make sure all this precision GPT powertrain is going to be top notch when we get it started. So if you look at the distributor right there, we're just going to kind of mimic that with the little tooth that goes down on a shaft that's driven down there on the oil pump. I'm going to stick that down in. We got this at rockauto.com. Really cool. You can use a distributor shaft at home, too. And then I'm going to hit it with a drill, Dave, and you got a gauge. What are we looking for? We're looking for about uh, 25 PSI. And we have achieved 25 plus PSI, perfect. All right, we'll go ahead and run it for a while and lubricate all the bearings, great thing to do so you don't have a dry start. We'll put this joker in this truck. Next week, you don't want to miss it. Hopefully this thing will be running by next week. It better be running next week or it's gonna be a lousy show. <laughs> <laughs> it will. All right, going up next, we've got a little bit of garage, Ed, we're gonna be talking refrigerants. It's a lot cooler than you think. <laughs> 